They Rowdy just found a gopher. She's all excited about finding a gopher. You know, here we are, Paul in the vineyard, and our 2021 season is over. Yay! You know, a lot of people think, oh, harvest is over. Now all the farmers get to just go fishing. But actually, it's when a lot of other things begin. And so what we're doing in the vineyard right now is preparing the soils with um, running a disc and, and then a uh, perfecta tool that smooths it out and then we're planting barley. We wanna get all that in the ground before hopefully we get um, the rain that's gonna come this year, which we're hoping happens. And so a little bit of late rain we got, um, actually just kind of washed everything off. By the time that rain happened, we had um, harvested all the sensitive varieties that have thin skins like Primotivo and Zinfandel um, and, and Petit Syrah. So what was left out in the vineyard were Bordeaux varietals that are, are nice hardy varietals like, like Cabernet Franc um, and Merlot. Uh, 2021, I was a little worried going into it because the berries were smaller and we didn't have a lot of rain, but actually as it turned out, um, we, we had a, a normal harvest, actually a little better than normal in some varieties. So my theory is the older vines, they're 30 years old with roots way down in the ground. They were able to adjust themselves as we got further into harvest because their roots are just so far down that they were able to pull some moisture um, from probably 15 or 20 feet down. And so they, uh, they actually uh, came around pretty good. So our average crop is, is uh, 203 tons of grapes. And uh, I just got done doing the calcs and we actually did about 213 um, tons. Very high quality fruit this year. Um, very dark colors, some of the darkest colors we've seen in, in almost 10 years. And we'd always like to know exactly why that happens, but um, until it happens again, we're not always sure. We're kind of thinking it's because the berries were a little smaller, um, more juice to skin ratio, um, but all around a, a really nice harvest. So one fun story from 2005 was when you graft over uh, varietals, you put buckets of cuttings at the end of the rows and then the crews grab those cuttings and they graft over. And so I often have guests that when we get a fall like this say, well, why is there two rows of red down in the middle of those other color leaves, which you could see out there? And the story was um, that was supposed to be Viognier, which is on every side of it. Um, the yellows and so after it was done the the next year and the, the year after that I all of a sudden noticed I had red grapes in the Viognier and so I called the grafter and I said salute what the hell happened and uh, so that's it's kind of a good mistake now we have more Syrah than we would have had but the first six rows are Syrah and that was actually supposed to be Viognier but I, I joked about it. I'm saying, well, we're we, we going to call that rosé, that half a row of Viognier and half a row um, of Syrah that maybe, but, and it's not the case. But anyway, that's the reason. People always wonder, why do you have those silly two rows of red leaves out there in the middle of the vineyard? <laughs> <laughs>